Sentai Sunray Shadow. It's on a loop, double, number six, down eye salmon hook. And we're tying with A dot, uni thread, and black. So we're going to run our thread down to between the point of the hook and the barb, and we can snap that off. Now we're going to take a section of small French silver tinsel. This will be our tag and rib for the fly. You want to tie that with excess hanging a few millimeters behind the eye. Tighten the wraps down. We're going to come in where we stopped our tinsel and with holographic UTC silver flat we're going to build up our body tie that in near the eye we're going to wrap our back over top of our previous wraps leave a little space for the tag crush our thread a few wraps over top of it and a few in front and then clip that off close next we're going to build our tag of tinsel, four or five wraps. I'm going to rib the body with five wraps of tinsel. Crush your thread, tie it off tight, clip it off close. So now I've pre stacked collie dog fibers. And even the motor if you want. You want to have this two times the length of the shank, maybe a little less, depending on how you want, to, how long you want the fly to be. So we'll tie those in and we'll clip them off close. We'll take more collie fibers in black. We're going to have this extend farther than your white, probably a quarter farther and tie this in the same way you did before. I'm going to clip it off close. Next we're going to take some peacock curl fibers for the overwing. These aren't necessary but I know it definitely helps in the fly make it look more like an American smelt. So take probably four or five fibers from this hunk, even them, and drop them down over the back. Tie these down right in the top of the hook firmly. Come in, snip it off close. Now we're going to build the head of the fly. This collie dog is slippery, so we want to slowly build up the head. And once we've done so, we can pick up the wing. Even it out. We're going to whip finish. Rip off our thread. Gonna finish with Salir. Two coats of that.
there's the finished sunray shadow. Very productive pattern in early April, right through till June. It's uh, made to imitate a um, American smelt or a rainbow smelt. Um, when this gets wet, everything's going to compress into a nice bait shape form, a nice tapered teardrop shape, and it's really going to hook some fish. So, hope you enjoyed. And tight lines.